Hello. Um, right, I'm just. I want to show you how to do um, how to incorporate mixed media into a acrylic pour. So what I have done here, let me just show you. I have drawn three little daisies. I was going to do poppies, but my glue gun isn't isn't the greatest. It's very cheap one, so I was. Um, I thought I'd just do some quick daisies. You might want to draw them on with pencil first, but what I wanted, I've gone over them a few times because I, I want the, I want the it to be nice and raised so that when I pour, the paint will stay out. Um, although it won't matter if a bit sinks in, but I want the, I want the flowers to show. What I'm going to do, because obviously that's not very attractive. Now I want to. I want to make them sparkle a bit. I want to make them stand out. So I have got here some silver leaf. Now what you do, get your silver leaf. Um, get yourself get yourself a little paintbrush. And just put a thin coat because otherwise it takes ages to dry. Put a little bit of, um, I'm just using Mod Podge. Just put a little bit of over the um, over the flowers, just enough to make it sticky. Um, this isn't the final finish, so fine. And this isn't necessarily the last we're going to do to it, so. little bit over all okay then you get your you get your page of silver leaf and it will tear that's fine it in all the gaps don't do it with the brush yet because the glue will just stick and it'll just make an absolute mess so just gently roughly press it in with your fingers make sure it's all covered like that little don't worry about the leftover bits leave them for now we'll sort them out in a bit Right, and then so do you keep going around with that for ages? Doesn't matter. I'm trying to make sure that there's okay. Right, I'm going to leave that like that. Push myself down. I'm going to put this to one side and let that dry, and I will come back for part two. evening uh oh let me just my phone's not gonna no we're steady right that's all right sorry i thought you're gonna fall over right so this is the next part in the uh glue gun, uh, glue gun flowers that i've done now i've mixed up three colors i'll show you what i've mixed up i've mixed them with liquitex um pouring medium which is my preferred uh, medium so I've used this is Windsor and Newton permanent green light um, P P B O P B O or I don't know how you pronounce it buff titanium and um, essentials royal Royal Langnickel, which I use quite a lot of these. Well, I use a lot of all of them, to be honest. Um, this is just dark green. Right. Um, I want to add just just a drop of silicone oil into each into each colour. Where's my? I really need to uh, sort my table out. Right. So I just plain just silicone oil. That's all I use. Um, and I'll just put 
couple of drops on each mix. <coughs> and then we get, I've got a, oh, I have got a, so I try and recycle as much as I can. So this is one that I, this is one that I cleaned out earlier. So I will, I'm just going to do, Now you know not to mix the silicone in too much. So I'm going to um, I'm going to pour it onto the canvas because I want it to go around the flowers. The buff titanium I'm going to try not to put too much in, but I just want it to kind of split the green up, just break the green up a little bit. The idea of the green is that supposed to look like foliage behind the flowers um, the flowers are going to be glittery that I will do that stage once um, once the pour has settled I only want a little bit of this and it's the one I make I don't I don't tend to keep paints mixed up I've got a cup where I put my leftover paint but I tend to I tend to mix it fresh for each one I, I, I just I just I, I, I'm really limited for space um, right now I'm, I'm waiting to wait to move and uh, staying with my parents right now and they're very kindly giving me this room so I have a studio but um, I don't have all the shelves and cupboards I used to have, but it's temporary. Anyway, that's uh, enough boring stuff about me. So I don't, I don't need to fill the cup up, but I want to make sure I've got enough. If I have too much, it will go into my leftover cup, which then I think most pourers find that leftovers create the best, the best, the best artworks. Um, there we go. making a mess here. What's new? Right. A bit more dark green. Oh, let's use that. I mixed up the right amount of greens anyway. It's either usually not enough or it's too much. And then just one little teeny drop of the buff titanium. I'll take that, that word buff, that's a good word. Buff. Right. So I want to get it, I want to get the colour um, all around, all around the flowers, but not in the flowers. But if it does go in the flowers, it's not the end of the world. But that's not the goal. See, I've got a little bit here, which I need the green to go, so I might do that at the end where... So, I'll do it in lines. See, when I do lines, I usually add a base coat first, but that's... Now I can hear my cat outside meowing, wanting to come in. I have to wait a second. I love these stripes. Right, let's just pop a little bit in this gap. I'm going to leave that to settle. Uh, oh, look at those beautiful cells there. They are. You see these cells just here? They are just. Right, that will be filled. Um, I might need just. Oh, actually, do you know what? That's filled up quite nicely. 
I just need to poke around a little bit. I think I'm going to fill out these these big stripes with some smaller ones. Some in the corners, and then over the edge there, and right onto the edge of that flower there, into that corner. Where have I? Oh, this corner needs some, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's some nice cells developing. Cells wasn't the main objective here. Um, as you know, if you've watched any others of my films, I don't. I don't um, um, I don't torch my work. I've got I've got um, birds in here, plus the cats and dogs. So all my work just depends on how it how it settles. That's a bit too beige there. It's a bit too buff. So let's put a stripe through it. nice right that 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 is that is right i'm going oh, so i'll put my cup down i'm going to get my fiddle stick and just right what i'm gonna do then just help it with this nicely that it needs to right i need a big, big dollop of it because it needs a dollop there and it hasn't just hasn't crept in there Keep it in there into there Done, done well in most areas. Oh, I did my little, oh, my little dribbly bit is perfect. It's gone, it's gone slightly over the edge, but that's okay. Should pull back as it dries. I need to need a bit of dribble for there. And for that bit. There. And I need bit of dribble from there just to take it up to the edge okay that's not looking too bad so I'm just gonna I'm gonna let this settle and when it has I'll be back um, to finish off the flowers thank you for watching again Right, hello again. Um, this is uh, what's this part three? Oh, I can't remember. I'm going to fit. I'm going to put them all together anyway, so it doesn't matter. So this is how it looks so far. Um, the green spilt into this petal slightly, so I just with one of these sticks, I just scooped it out, scraped it back. So we've lost a bit of the silver there, but you know, as it's abstract work. Um, I think that's going to be fine. So, what I then have done, uh, oh, and because it was slightly full here, which is why it's spilt over. So, with the stick, I just, you can see where I've kind of manipulated the paint there and just pulled it back so that there was not quite so much in there because everywhere else was, you know, spreading, it wasn't doing the same there. So, so I've pulled that out, which I think, which I think looks nice actually, because the stripes, it, I just had stripes here, which didn't really match with, because it sells all the way around the flowers. So I think this looks better like that. Now, what I've got here, it's got some yellow glitter. And then I've got some bright pink. And I've mixed the two glitters with PVA glue. I've done that already so you don't have to watch me mix glitter because that's really boring 
So I only need a little bit of yellow here. Now, as you see, you lose the colour when it's with PVA, but um, it will dry clear. Um, if you've seen my video about glitter art, you will know why I've said if you coat it with PVA like this. Um, you want the PVA, you need a glue because you're gluing the glitter. You need the adhesive, which is why, you know, so in the paint, I've used paint, paint uh, conditioner, uh, the Liquitex. But in this, I want to hold the glitter together. So we need a glue. <clears throat> it will dry clear. And because it's completely mixed in, when it's dry, no glitter will come off the surface. It will be held. I, I, I have... I have glitter that I've glued like this for several, uh, several years ago and it holds it, it holds it and you don't see it because you've got the colour of the glitter coming through. So what you do, we just want a bit of the yellow in the middle. Like that. It might be a bit too much so take it. nice that's that's all the yellow we want i made a bit too much really right and here's the pink that i have that i've done it's a, it's a lovely bright pink i love this shade and then you just um seize the stick just to push it up to the edge where edge of the glue Obviously, we, you know, it's nice to have some of the, um, we want the silver to kind of show. But, let's say, with this petal, the silver got covered with paint. But it's fine, it kind of, I think it adds to the abstract nature of the piece. Any bits of blue which aren't covered um, by the silver, because obviously it cracks, you know, breaks up sometimes when you pull it apart. Actually, you get the colour of the glue. Um kind of reflecting through it so let's say the color it looks kind of um paler at the moment because you see a lot of the pba that well i will put on a picture of it at the end when it's dried a bit where the color is really quite something you know and it will sparkle Let's say if you do want to check out the glitter art and some of the tips I've got on there, if you look back at my videos, it is there. Um, and I hope, I think it was, yeah, it was the first tutorial I did. And um, I've worked with glitter for quite a long time with, with an art and, um, you know, using it, trying to actually use it as a medium rather than just as a little bit of a decoration. <clears throat> last one now and sometimes you might get the odd air bubble in the PVA glitter so you just if you let it settle and you can't um <clears throat> As I say in my video about um, glitter art, you can't torch the glitter like you do with your fluid art because it's flammable. So please do not do that. You'll ruin your artwork and you don't want to burn your house down. Um, so just get a little pin or something and pop out. They, they pop out what, quite nice, quite easily. Just do it that way. Um, and I find, I find it quite therapeutic to be honest. Um, there. So let me show you that close up and then I say I will show you I will put a picture on the end of when it's dry. So and there it is. And you see you've got you've got bits of the silver that show. 
but we'll really know once it's dry the green will slightly reduce in volume and so will the glitter and really but it's got some really pretty cells in the green and there you go that is how to incorporate fluid art in a mixed media piece. <laughs>